back to Musician's Edition. Uh, today we have a slightly different type of video for you and we're going to be talking about drum set notation. So how the notes are written on the page when we're playing, uh, when we're trying to read drum set music. Okay, we should start by saying there's not a real standardized way of doing this. Um, sometimes different parts will have different notations and you kind of have to figure that out on the fly. But the things we're going to talk about here today will at least get us started um, and it'll be a really good jumping off point, okay? So one thing we can almost always bank on is this space at the bottom of the staff right here is going to almost be the bass drum, okay? Now sometimes you'll see it on this line, right? But typically it's here on this space, okay? So that's going to be our bass drum. All right, the next one that you can almost always bet on is gonna be in the same place is this line right here, okay? Or this space right here. That's almost always gonna be snare drum. That's maybe the most common one, the, the least likely one that's gonna be written somewhere else, okay? So we have the bass drum on the bottom space and snare drum on the third space, right? The next to, next to top space on the staff, okay? Now, after that, <clears throat> things start to um, get a little bit, uh, maybe a little tricky, right? So when you're when you're reading drum set notation um, and you see just regular notes, whether they're whole notes, quarter notes, half notes, whatever, right? That's how the drums are gonna be notated, okay? Um, but whenever we see an X on a line in the staff, whenever we see an X in the staff, um, that is going to indicate a symbol, okay? Um, whether that's your hi-hat or your ride cymbal um, or a crash cymbal, something like that, okay? Um, so typically, your hi-hat cymbal is written on the very top of the staff, right? So like these X's right here would be hi-hats. Now, there, there are a couple variations, and we'll get more into this later on, but there, there are a couple variations on the hi-hat, right? If we do this... Um, that gives us an open hi-hat, right? So that means we're gonna lift our foot off and play the hi-hat with the cymbals separated from each other, okay? All right, now if we see this, the uh, it's the opposite, right? So circle means open, the plus sign is gonna mean closed hi-hat, okay? All right? Now, your ride cymbal and your crash cymbals are gonna be written somewhere around this, right? It might be here, it might be on a ledger line here, right? And that's that's one of those that, oh, it's sometimes it's kind of sort of standardized, sometimes it's not. So you kind of have to, um, kind of have to like figure that out depending on the part that you're reading, okay? Um, one more thing about cymbals, they, uh, this, uh, an X below the staff right here, that's going to be our hi hat with a with our foot. Okay, so instead of playing it with our stick like we would if we see it up here, we're going to tap our foot, which is going to push the two symbols together, and that's what how we're going to play this note. Okay, all right. So just to kind of um, review this stuff here: bass drum, okay, snare drum, hi hat. Uh, ride symbol, crash symbol, right? Those, those, those are a couple of different options, okay? And then hi hat with our foot, okay? Now we haven't really addressed toms yet, but we haven't really played a lot of toms in our lessons here on Musicians Edition, um, so we're not going to really worry about how the toms are notated just yet. Um, and that's another one that can get a little bit confusing. So right now we're just going to concern ourselves with snare drum, bass drum, hi hat, ride symbol, and then our hi hat with the foot. Okay, so when you see this written in uh, in real life, so to speak, you will see something like this, right? So if that's a measure of hi hat quarter notes, right? Um, okay, and then I wanted to put my bass drum on beat one and three, like like we've been practicing our lessons, right? It would look like this, right? Beat one and then beat three. So you see how beat one is stacked over the is stacked up together, right? So I can tell that. This hi-hat and this bass drum happens at the same time. This hi-hat and this bass drum happens at the same time, okay? 
And then um, if I wanted to put snare drums on two and four, I could put that here and put that here, all right? There's a couple of, of variations. Most of the time you will probably see this notated like that, right? Where these, the, the stems are connected between the hi-hat and the snare drum. Occasionally you may see it written like this. It's a little less common, but you might have the two written over the top of each other like that. Okay, with the stems pointing in opposite directions. All right, let's bring this all, let's bring this all back together into one more groove. And this is one that we've been playing on the drum set. So you see in this measure, I've got eighth notes on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and, okay. And I'm gonna put bass drum on all four beats, right? So beat one, here's beat two. So I'm gonna stack that up there. Here's beat three and here's beat four, right? And I'm gonna put snare drum on beat two right here, stacking it on top of the bass drum, connecting the beam with, with the hi-hat, okay? And then same thing, on beat four, stack this on top of the bass drum and connect the beam, okay? So that's how you would notate, uh, that's how you'll see hi-hat, snare drum, bass drum, and hi-hat with the foot notated.